now we are going to study introduction of switch gears basically what is switch gears switch gears are the protective instruments used to protect the power system equipment like generator transformer etc so if we are going to classify the switch gears so we can classify in following points in switch gear category the first when we will study the basic part of switch gear is nothing but the fuse and the second part of this is mcb third part this is isolator fourth part is circuit breaker fifth part is relay and the sixth part is lightning arrester so these are the switch gears devices fuse mcb isolator circuit breaker relay and lightning arrester now among these type we have to study only these two circuit breaker and relay so in our syllabus the three topics has been asked in from relay that is over current protection over current protection second one is distance protection and third one is differential protection this question has been asked based on relay differential protection and the in the circuit breaker it has been asked the phenomena how the arc is initiated how the arc is initiated how arc will be quenched what is the restriking phenomena current chopping resistance switching etc so these two topic we have to study in detail so now i am going to draw the coordination diagram between circuit breaker and relay so that when we will study the circuit breaker and relay separately uh, we will understand in a very easy way so now guys we are studying the coordination diagram for relay and switch gears so this is the current transformer this is ct and uh, this is the core and uh, this is one disk attached with spring so what happened basically when normal condition when normal condition normal condition means let us assume this is 100 by 5 ampere so in the primary side it is 100 ampere current flowing and this is 5 ampere current flowing so correspondingly when it will energize this this will produce magnetic field and it will produce eddy current on this disk so that it will exert a torque on this direction and this spring has been attached like this so that it can move this disk in opposite direction of this force so this is restraining to this disk so this is restraining torque this is restraining torque this is restraining torque so when we don't have any kind of fault so let us assume this is 5 newton just because of this flux and this restraining torque is also 5 newton so this contact will be like this open and this this basically no open is represented by this so normally open and if when is this is normally open so this is normally closed so this is normally closed means auxiliary supply has been given to this moving pole of this circuit breaker and this is is using an attraction force this is using an attraction force so that this fc 
and this MP will be fixed. This will be closed contact. But what happens when the fault occurs? When the fault occurs, basically, this current will be greater than 5 ampere, let us assume 10 ampere during fault, and here it is producing the flux corresponding to 10 ampere and it will exert and force that will be greater than 5 newton let us assume 10 newton is force applying here in this direction and 5 newton in this direction through string so what will happen the operating torque is greater than the restraining torque so it will be like this and the circuit will be closed so this circuit will be closed and this will become open when this will become open that this will stop producing the electromagnetic attraction force and this contract will open and the circuit breaker contacts will open and this is how the, the circuit breaker